Yep, we're live. So I'm doing um, coach a team to operate with two quick strikers. And because I'm a bit special, I want to do it backwards. So I'm going to show the pictures that are in my head because I haven't got a clue about the organisation just yet. Um, so I've got four clear pictures that I want to try and paint. So the X's are the back four and the two are the nine and ten. Picture number one is to slide the ball in between full back and centre back and have a race. The nine will be quicker than the five or six and they'll win the race. Picture number two is to break this, I explain this to the kids as a chain, the back four, so to try and get this guy to run this channel, same picture here, so this five comes across and now the gap's that one there through the middle, which is probably more difficult, but on that pitch might happen, you might get the, a diag ball in here and either run this side or run this side of the centre back. Um, even the game and the transitions right and there's a lot of space in behind, just go a bit more agricultural and go direct and just kick it over the top and chase it, um, have a race because the quick strikers, they should be quicker, um, and linked into that one, if we co try to go direct and the centre backs win the first one, how do we coach the second one of the midfield, pick it up and then thread it back in or a combination to do that. So they're the four ones that I've got like in my mind. In terms of the, the setup, I'm going to coach the Blues, they're going to play um, a diamond Midfield in a 4 4 2. So there's the diamond, 9 and 10, full back and full back. The team that's defending are a 4 4 2, but we just have one up top. Similar to Dave, I've gone with a, a zone where the 9 is going to play. Um, I had discussions with Alan about whether the 3 and 2 are locked in here, but if they're locked in, I think the numbers will kill us because it'll be 4 against 4 and 2 against 4, so, so we struggle. So to start off with, I was going to have um, ball played out here, similar to the session that I was in today, that was the, the big function that was turned into a phase. Ball played out here, full back travels, and that would be my picture to start. And the opposite one would cover around to get that offside rule that we talked about. Um, so obviously, ball's this side, two travels, three might tuck around. I'm going to say that nine should try and stay in the zone, not locked in the zone. But to score a goal, either nine has to score the goal or set someone up. Uh, on a one touch to, yeah, to score a goal, then that will give us the recycle. I might play with the goalkeeper, I'm open to the back there, I don't know whether I need him or whether I can have a pile of balls here, so as soon as they score, two could just pick it up and play again. Um, things that I'm thinking of that are important is the line that I have here so that they're nice and high, so that my 9 and 10 can get inside, and my diamond with one of these guys looking to get near. So if I get a ball successfully into a 9 or a 10, I've got the, the up back and through, bounce it into a 10, into an X to release them again, or into a 10 to release the 9. Um, that's as far as I've got. I'm much happier with these pictures than the organisation. Okay. I think the way you've, got up, you've set about the task is possibly one to consider copying, identifying... Mini scenarios, mini pictures as you that you want to paint. That's quite a good idea because in theory, a bog standard phase of play could should give you the opportunity to coach every single topic. So we could all we've all got the same structure, but we've just got different themes. You could, you could, you could approach it in that direction. Absolutely, courage, creativity, and. Are you happy for the, for the, the eight red crosses to sit in? If that, if that could be a possibility. It would be a consequence. Part of the scoring idea, which is where I'm not, not comfortable, is initially I thought about one of these guys had to get into the end zone. So the nine was setting someone up to score a goal. Yeah. Yeah. So that as... He runs, now he's out of shape, I can play into my seven and then I'm away. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm conscious that they could go eight and then I might never get, get in. Apart from smashing the team to chase them. So this is the bit, because I don't, I don't, I certainly wouldn't touch on the I would do small side of games, or 11 to 11. Yeah. So this recycling bit I think is really important to get this dislocation and that shape out of balance so that I can get in. So I, I want to get one of these four getting excited to come up here, and maybe my two cheats a little bit, and we, we get wide here, then, then slip in yeah. between here. Yeah. Okay.
you might do, and that might be your strength. Anything else? Team Anyone else? Inside the pitch. So the only question I was going to bring up was your defensive line, but you, you actually covered that by the end because I was concerned the way you've drawn it there, and I know it's not a scam. And blah, blah, blah. But you want to you create that space. So you've got to get up to there. Got to get them up. Which you, you've mentioned you were going to manage. But it's the realism of saying you've got to get up this dotted line. Because I'm hoping that the personnel here will be quicker. So as long as they're not ridiculous, I'll still be able to get them in. Because if the power is right, if he's quicker than him, then science says that's a good race. That doesn't necessarily even mean speed. Is it? Speed you're of thought. Say again. That's Just quick. Does it? It could mean speed of thought yeah. rather than actually. Yeah. Because it could be a boom boom and go on. I thought about in here. Like, I mean, I'm going to beat you in the race. Nine, a one two yeah. combination. That's what I mean. But I think these are simple. Yeah. yeah, and I get it. And it, if you start going with five six pitches, it's too many. That's the easiest one, right? Yeah. Well, that's okay. That one will come out when it's starting to coach that yes, one. Yeah. That one I have to coach because if it's on, they've got to do it. Yeah. And that one will come and we get that one wrong. Yeah. So I think combinations yeah. is probably so here. And if it comes up, I, I wouldn't ignore it. I think you're fine. No, so no, maybe, maybe, sorry, might, maybe you might pop, yeah, maybe combinations is your fifth, but it's in the bank. Because if I nail those four, I'll be yeah, but happy. happy, so happy yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, I think that you're going to have a situation where, with the way you set up, you're going to have a lot of opportunity to do combination play. Yeah. Even though, and that's why you're saying put it as a fifth. Because if, as soon as it's I think the message to these four is stick it in when you can stick it in. Because yeah. if they're quicker, don't play to feet, roll, roll them and give them a rest. Yeah. If it comes to feet because of a pass from the defenders, then that's fine, and then the back set. Would you at some stage say to Redley Field, especially if eight is causing a problem, yeah. playing in that in between the lines, would you say to Redley Field players, would you like to adjust the way you're playing? Yeah, because we play this in the academy, Diamond. Yeah. So what we start to do is say that these can swap. Yeah. Well, these can swap. So we don't play with four and eight, we just call them two eights. Yeah. So if I go in there and you mark me, right, I disappear and you come in. Yeah. So that would, that would be how I'd counteract that. But I'd be happy for them. I'm not going to say it's a flat form and say you play with a four. Yeah. So if they play the two in here, I'll get here. So if I wanted to play it on screen the eight in the front, I could. That clear map. You'd be happy for that to happen. And if I wanted to mark the eight behind, you'd be happy for me to do that. I would I'd try and clear the space by moving it. You've got a remedy for that. Well, I'd, I'd, my first thought would be to get, if you mind marking, I'd take the eight out. You know, all I'm saying is no team in their right mind would allow you to keep playing balls through to eight. And I'll do something about it. Yeah, I mean, that eight could play here. Yeah, no, I'm happy with your eight playing. You know, if your eight plays high, but behind your nine and ten, in between the two red lines, all I'm saying is that the, the red team, if they're worth anything, wouldn't allow that just to continue without doing something about it. I almost see, I see what you're saying, but I almost see that as like a finish point. So we're going to start in balance right. so but in possession a, right. your job is to get off his shoulder right. and yours is to offer the balance yeah. no yeah. and the same with this guy can you get in here or in here because if I get in here I'm not going to and score it off what do you think about this bit um, same as before really I've, I, on the occasions when I've done it the three quarter pitch game I, I in, my first reaction when I heard about it was no you can't do that that's not a phase of play and I was transfixed by the black and white definition of this is this, is this, this is that kind of thing. And then when I saw it done, I thought, you know what? If I was playing in that practice, I'd much prefer to play in a practice that had that goal at the end. Now, whether you put a goalkeeper in or not, I think that's quite interesting because you could just go with, it's a one-touch finish. Because I'm thinking if I do this, they score a goal, yeah. they'd be out of shape. And That's hopefully one of these two will be sat back or near the yeah. football. Yeah. Yeah. Or I might even be there. Go and play. You've just got to be careful that the tempo doesn't die in that end bit. And often you see it even here, you see it where it, we get to the point where we're just about to score a goal and then someone does a drag back and a Cruyff turn and sits on it and knees on it. Mm. Just put it in the net. You know, um, put it in the net. Let's get on with it. So what you do so, from that end? So yeah, that's a one-touch so set and a one-touch finish. Yeah, 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 I'm There's saying good players. Get two players in. Into him. He's got one cross touch it. One-touch one finish. Retreat lines here. And yeah. if they're quality players, you but could even go with so it's a one-touch finish with power. Yeah, so you yeah, can't touch the floor. Yeah, it's got to hit the net before it hits anything else. 
the bubble. I think that would be something I'd keep yeah. if I needed yeah, I it. And, and that would be player specific stuff, wouldn't it? So you know if you're working so with your 18s line, at Brentford, line, they might be able to do that. If you're working with your 9s, they might not. Yeah, because on the screen, from top to bottom, that would be too big. Do you know what I mean? Can you talk about engineering and transition? So you might want to bring it up I mean, tend to find that the best thing like 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 engineering the transition. Yeah. I'm using that. Well, well, <laughs> no, welcome, welcome to it. <laughs> um, no, I, to do it that always, I tend to find that pace is more of an asset when you haven't got drop ball. cones down. And movement so is more of an asset when you have got ball. Drop the cones down and then walk so them and walk them on For example, like, thing about you really use pace when there's a lot of space to exploit. And then you exploit the space after the transition, after winning the back. I think you're right. The, the, the two things that we get over that is they're going to have the enjoyment and the motivation of scoring a goal. So uh, that's Colin, he'll be over here. <laughs> and I'll be exploiting that. If that's Steve, he'll get excited and go there. For example, today, I, I'm going to say, I want to play like it. it's a game, you're 2 0 down or whatever. Yeah. And as they play, I'll just say to a 9 10, just cheat my whole time. Like, stay up. Because then we'll be winning at 2 v 2. And so the space will be. Scenarios are allowed in the face. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can use them like, you know, like in B, they kind of talk really about scenarios.